Hello, my name is Jerry Bant with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video covers how to configure a voicemail coverage path within Communication Manager for Avaya Aura Contact Center 6.2 Agent Stations. Before I begin this demonstration, I will explain some details and limitations about this coverage path solution. Avaya Aura Contact Center, or AACC 6.2, currently supports a limited configuration with coverage path to allow agents to have a voice mailbox on a communication manager or CM system. This configuration applies only to Avaya voice messaging systems connecting to a CM using the SIP protocol. The messaging platforms supported are Modular Messaging 5.2, Aura Messaging, and Communication Manager Messaging. Also, there are some other limitations to this solution. It is limited to a single coverage path configured on the agent station. The coverage path is configured with a single coverage point to a voicemail hunt group. The hunt group has only one entry, the entry for the voice messaging system. I will show this configuration in the demo. Multiple coverage points and coverage points other than a voicemail hunt group are not currently supported. Coverage is only set to yes for the busy and don't answer coverage criteria. This is for calls made directly to the agent's dialed number or calls that AACC routed to that agent's dialed number. The solution does not support the do not disturb, send all calls, or go to cover button functionality. This solution also does not support any third-party voicemail messaging platforms, and it does not support QSIG integrations between CM and the voice messaging system. AACC should always maintain control of calls routed with the queue to skill set and queue to agent commands, so these calls should not follow the agent's coverage path. Also, AACC must be released 6.2 with Service Pack 5 and Patch Rollup 1 or later. Earlier AACC releases or Service Packs do not support the coverage path functionality. Now I will start the demonstration. For this demo, I am logged into a Communication Manager lab system. I will display the necessary configuration of the voicemail hunt group, the coverage path, and an agent station for this solution. I have pre-configured hunt group 99, coverage path 99, and station 51234 on this system with the fields required for this limited AACC coverage path solution. First, I will show the hunt group configuration using the display hunt group command. It is good practice to set the group name as something that shows that this is a messaging hunt group. In this system, the group name is CMM for Communication Manager Messaging. The group type is set as UCD-MIA. You can set the class of restriction, TN, and other fields as typical for a messaging hunt group. Then go to the second page. The voicemail hunt group should be configured with the voicemail number. For this example, 19999 is a number that the CM dial plan routes to a session manager, which then routes it to the communication manager messaging system. This is the only necessary configuration for the hunt group. If you need to modify the hunt group configuration, use the change hunt group command then make any necessary field updates and submit. Next, I will go over the coverage path configuration using the display coverage path command. Coverage path 99 is configured with a single coverage point of hunt group 99. This is the hunt group that routes to the voicemail system as shown previously. The other coverage points should be left blank. The busy and don't answer coverage criteria fields should be set to Y. 
the other criteria fields should be set to no. The number of rings setting for don't answer must be greater than the agent's call presentation class return to queue setting in AACC. For this demo, I set the value to 9, which would be greater than the time configured in this agent's return to queue setting. This will ensure that AACC maintains control of a customer call which AACC queued to an agent but who did not answer the call for any reason. AACC can then requeue the call for a different agent in that skill set rather than having the call go to the original agent's voicemail. If a customer complains that some skill calls are going to an agent's voicemail box instead of being requeued, you should increase the number of rings value in the coverage path to make sure it is greater than any agent's return to queue setting. Use the change coverage path command to make any configuration changes and then submit. The last configuration step is for the agent station. I will use the display station command to show the configuration for station 51234. On the first page, the agent station should be set with a single coverage path. The value should be the coverage path number previously configured. So in this example, station 51234 is configured for coverage path 99. The coverage path 2 field should be left blank. Also ensure that the message lamp extension field is the same as the agent's station number. In this case, the field is set to 51234 as it should be. If needed, use the change station command to make any required updates to the station configuration and then submit. The agent's voice mailbox would be configured in the messaging system per the documentation for that system. This concludes the AACC voice mail coverage path configuration demo. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at or on Twitter at AvayaMentor.